We couldn't say keep America great because our country is not great. We're laughed at all over the world. We're no longer respected. Three years ago, we were respected like our country has never been respected before. They also don't mention the defining lawsuit that was brought against Bill Clinton, and it was lost by the government, the famous Sox case that says he can keep his documents. They don't mention that. They don't, these are minor details, and that's the ruling law. When I left office and was moving to Florida, boxes were openly sitting on the White House sidewalk. Everybody was taking pictures of them. This isn't somebody smuggling boxes out. Pictures of them, you've all seen it, sitting with people from GSA and other people, waiting to put them on a truck. But they were literally sitting outside of the White House, waiting for a truck to come. Then the truck come. It was there for a long time, and they put it in, and they brought it down to Florida. And they make it sound like it's a big, if that's a spy operation, or if that's something bad, uh, we did a very poor job, I will tell you. First thing you learn is don't put them on the sidewalk in front of the White House. As a former president, we were negotiating with the National Archives and Records Administration, just as every other president has done. And the next thing I knew, Mar-a-Lago was raided by gun-toting FBI agents. We were negotiating. And again, meanwhile, Biden has troves of classified documents from his time as vice president, which is much tougher, actually. It's actually a much tougher standard. And even as a senator, and the senators are not allowed to bring classified documents. And I heard a senator named Dick Durbin, you ever hear of him? He happens to be a Democrat. He was beside himself. He couldn't believe that Biden took classified documents as a senator. It's a no-no, a real no-no. Can't do it. I was amazed that I saw him. I'm sure he changed his tune, you know, when he got the hell beat out of him, when he went back into his beautiful marble-clad office. Many of Biden's documents were in Chinatown, and many of them were in places that you don't want to have documents. But I hear how wonderful he did. Think of it, 1,850 boxes he had, minus peanuts. But you saw mine because they were on that sidewalk. And they paid over a million dollars a year, and they're still, you know, he was paid by China, really, because China makes a big payment to the area where he has the vast preponderance of documents. And he makes about a million dollars a year paid by China. And these documents were strewn all over the place. And then he has documents strewn on his garage floor where he has the now famous Corvette. You know where that's stored, his beautiful Corvette. There was no security there. They had a garage door that you could cut it with a scissor. They didn't have Secret Service. I have Secret Service all over Mar-a-Lago. And Mar-a-Lago is strong and powerful. It was built, it was actually built by Marjorie Merriweather Post and E.F. Hutton. Remember, when E.F. Hutton speaks, people listen. Well, they one of the greatest ads ever, but they built it, and it was built as the Southern White House, actually. And Jimmy Carter gave it up. He said it was too expensive to be born by, and I, was, I said, thank you very much. We have to get that. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you very much. But that was actually built as the Southern White House. It's very powerful, but we have great people, Secret Service is all over the place, and that's the way we like it. But unlike me, who had absolute declassification authority as president, Biden didn't have any authority, and he had no right to possess those documents, none whatsoever. Yet nothing happened to Crooked Joe with all that many, many, many times what we have. And you know, uh, there was an article recently that all presidents take documents out. They bring them out, all of them, virtually every one of them in fairly modern times. If you look at... Hillary Clinton set up an illegal private server in her basement specifically to break public disclosure laws, and that would expose her and her family's finances. She stored vast quantities of classified and sensitive information, some of it leaking into Anthony Weiner. You remember him, computer? Anthony Weiner, that was a real beauty. Much of it went into Anthony Weiner's computer. That's probably the last, I'm, I'm not sure. I think I'd rather have it on 
Hunter Biden's computer than Anthony Weiner's computer. <laughs> and when caught, Hillary deleted an acid-washed 33,000 emails in defiance of a congressional subpoena. She already had the subpoena. And her aides smashed and destroyed iPhones with a hammer. Yet the FBI and DOJ protected her. They did absolutely nothing in Hillary's case. The FBI and DOJ largely did not issue subpoenas. They did not use a grand jury. They did not execute search warrants. And Comey declared that there was no problem. He said no reasonable prosecutor would ever bring a case like that. She knocked out 33,000 emails. And Hillary wasn't indicted. She should have been. But she wasn't indicted. She was protected by the Democrats. Biden was not indicted, and what he's done is terrible. You know, they like to say, well, what Trump did. I mean, actually, I thought it was, I was impressed. I looked, it looked so orderly and nice. Somehow somebody turned over one of the boxes. Did you see that? I said, I wonder who did that. Did the FBI do that? Because they.